Are you asking yourself, what does it take to really love myself? Why don't I love myself? Do you keep on asking that same question? And really you want to find out what is actually holding back your own self-love. Because it's been an ongoing suffering, right? It's an ongoing hurt that you are experiencing and you don't want it anymore. And in this video I want to show you and share with you my three wise insights that are actually like tools that I use all the time to help me to come back to my true self and to master those emotions that feel so hurtful and so painful and to empower myself to no longer believe in those old beliefs that stem from childhood that I couldn't shake off just like that. Hey, I am Carolina Cummins. If you're new to my channel, I am a self-love mentor and the founder of liberatinghearts.com. I'm here to help you to find your way out of your mind to disidentify with your conditioning and your ego self to come back to your true heart and your own love. I can tell you right away that self-love has got nothing to do with how much you are weighing, what your income is, whether you are successful or not, whether you are loved by other people, whether they want you, and how many friends you have, and maybe, you know, what your marital status is. It's got nothing to do with anything on the outside. Let's become really clear of that because what is happening, obviously, we are being conditioned when we are children. We cannot help the environment that we are in because we are taking it on just like that. We can't help that. And when we were conditioned to believe that maybe we do things wrong because our parents keep on telling us so, or maybe they tell us to shut up, and be quiet or they never look at us they don't praise us they don't see our achievements and we feel as a result we feel not worthy we think we can't do anything and because we all have that same starting point really we all are being conditioned we also all have to learn to come out of that again so the journey here as a human being on earth starts with kind of going through a lot of unpleasant experiences maybe even horrendous and really painful experiences that we then have to find our way out of again and that's the big challenge that most people don't even know that that's the journey we have chosen to do and it becomes obvious when you are realizing that you're going around a circle, keeping up, you know, with the same stories inside. You always tell yourself the same stories. You hear the same stories subconsciously. And you are looking outside to the people around you and they are kind of seemingly creating that pain in you. Yeah? That's what we all do because that's what it was like in childhood. But now we are grown up and now we have to play the game of life and take the reins back and become the masters over our lives and no longer just be the victim or the poor little me or the helpless me who can't help herself or himself. So it starts by becoming aware of the choice that we now have. We can choose to be the little me and we can choose to carry on with the same old stories or we can wake up and realize hang on a minute if i would not decide that i am being triggered by this other person and instead i would take the responsibility myself and look inside instead of outside then i could change something that's really how it all starts right for me, this journey started when I was seven and I decided at that time that I wanted to make love my guide. I wanted to get rid of all fears because I realized that they were standing in the way of my own love. And I was so young because I've been on this journey for many lifetimes. It's always been my, let's say, my sole purpose to 
find my way back to my own love and my own light, no matter what the circumstances were, which is a pretty big task, isn't it? I mean, from the human point of view, it seems impossible. It's really easy to give up and it's really easy to not take that challenge and to say it's too difficult. I'm just going to stay put and play small or I'm going to just somehow survive. But we are here to actually master ourselves. We are here to thrive, to shine our light and to spread our love. And that is my mission. And that's the one I will never give up on, even though I might fail or I fall back and I still haven't gotten to where I want to be. It doesn't matter. I will never give up until the, and the last breath I take in, in this body. <laughs> so... The first insight I want to share with you is actually the insight of awareness and being present with what is happening for you. When you're feeling triggered or when you're feeling emotional pain, when you're feeling someone is not treating you nicely or lovingly, and therefore you might feel unloved or unwanted or rejected or criticized, then you have something to work with. Stop looking outside now. That's what we did when we were children. And now it's all about mastering whatever is going on inside of you. And to begin with, just be present. Just observe it. Stay inside. Feel what is going on. Look at what's going on. And maybe you can even tune into that part of you who says Things like, oh, nobody loves me, and again I'm rejected, and again I didn't succeed, I made it wrong, I did it wrong. And, and look at those stories, where do they come from? Maybe you have an insight. You don't need to know, but it's just imp important to realize that they are stories from the past. And you can now choose to no longer believe in those stories and no longer perpetuate those stories. So that's the pr being present part. And then you can make the choice and, you, and the decision that you want to do this whole thing differently. That's how it starts. And it doesn't matter if you fall, you know, and, and you don't follow up and you might be, you miss, you fail in your, in your eyes. And you can't really fail because you're learning. You are learning something new. You're practicing. So love yourself in that process. This is what self-love self -love starts with, you know. Self-love starts with allowing yourself to fail, to fall flat on your nose again, to trip up, to do it wrong. In the eyes of love, there is no right and wrong at all. It doesn't exist. Things are just the way they are. We can learn from them or not. That's up to us as well. Love lets you do whatever you choose to do. It's your life. It's your path. It's your mission that you either fulfill or you don't. And if you don't, it doesn't matter either. It doesn't matter at all because love can only love. That is self-love when you, when you think like that. And then the second part is to become aware of what you are thinking and then decide whether you want to keep thinking that, whatever it is. It's usually negative self-talk, isn't it? And then come up with positive ways of speaking to yourself, praising yourself, even though just praising yourself for trying, you know? It doesn't matter whether you succeeded or not. You tried. You did something new. Praise yourself and talk to yourself in a positive, loving way like you would to your child. Treat yourself even better than you would treat your loved ones or your friends. And when you change that negative self-talk into a positive self-talk, things will change. Your whole mental outlook will change. Your inner stories will change. And your subconscious self-talk will also change. Because now you've decided to love yourself. And this is a mighty, powerful decision. And it's a journey you've stepped on. A lot of people don't ever step onto that journey. But now it's time to actually come back to our own love and to empower ourselves in such way 
that nothing and nobody on the outside can affect us, at least not for long. It's completely normal when you react. It's normal when you feel upset for a little while. But then you take your life back. You empower yourself by looking at what you're thinking and what you're believing, what you're doing. Are you maybe blaming someone, you know? Or maybe you're, you're, you're unkind to yourself. That's what you do to love yourself. And then the last step is to actually send love to yourself. You know, you might have been looking to get love and attention and nice talking from other people so you feel better. You maybe are looking for a hug and all that helps, of course. But you need to love yourself from inside your own love, from your love in your heart. So you will only feel loved if you give yourself your own love from your heart. That is true self-love. When it flows so beautifully and it's always present for you, that you no longer judge yourself and you no longer put yourself down or make yourself wrong, and you forgive yourself, you praise yourself, you are acting like love towards yourself. That's when you are loving yourself. <laughs> and it feels so, so good. You've arrived. It feels like you are at peace. You don't need nothing, anything from the outside. It's all there, just like it was when you were in the womb. You got everything there. And when you're loving yourself, you're also trusting in yourself. You're trusting that life will get you to the place you need to be in order to maybe have a better job or have the insights, maybe the guidance from some other person to get further along your own spiritual path, maybe to uncover your soul's mission so you can actually do the vocation you came to do. Practice those three insights, you know, be present with what is, allow whatever is there to observe yourself like love would observe you with loving eyes. And then become aware of where you might be telling yourself untrue beliefs, assumptions, you know, that you have had since childhood and change them into positive beliefs. And repeat them, you know, keep telling yourself the same positive beliefs every day, three times. It doesn't have to take long, you know, four or five minutes. But feel that love for yourself when you speak those beautiful sentences to yourself. And then send your own love to yourself. Feel the compassion for your younger self, for your little child. Embrace her or him. Have her or him in your arms and really treat your own inner child like your own child. Feel your own love for yourself. That is when you have arrived at your own self-love and you do not look outside anymore and you don't want anything from anybody anymore because you're realizing nobody can actually give it to you. And when you feel love from someone else, when you feel like they are really kind and loving to yourself, it's because you have that love for yourself in the first place. And the love they are giving you is kind of like a bonus, it's like an additional extra because you have learned to love yourself. And it's a mirror to you, you know, that shows you that is coming about because I am loving myself. So the journey that it takes to move out of your self-identified ego, you know, the little me, the poor little me that has been suffering, to coming back to your own heart, to your own true love is worth doing. It might take a long time, it doesn't matter. It might take all your life. It doesn't matter. It's the doing and the achieving of it. It's the conquering yourself. Because it's always about the two selves, you know. We are having two selves in us, so we have to be aware. Am I coming from my little ego self? Or am I now coming from my true heart and my own love? And that's when I have conquered myself. That's when I am in love. And therefore, nothing needs to happen anymore. You don't need anything from the outside. If this video was helpful, please like and share. 
subscribe to my channel to have more loving, insightful, wise wisdom <laughs> shared. And if you want to um, learn how to love yourself more, then this is also for you. Until next time, I wish you a happy day.